Let's take a look a little bit more at perimeter and area of shapes. Uh, for our example, remember, perimeter is one-dimensional. So actually write the word out. Perimeter is one-dimensional. Inches, centimeter, feet. It's talking about length. Area is two-dimensional. And I believe this is where people are getting stuck, this idea between one dimension and two dimension. Perimeter length with depth in and of themselves, just one measuring direction. But when you measure two directions, then you are two dimensions, length times width, uh, height times depth. So it's, it's covering a shape with no gaps or overlaps. Remember back to several weeks ago that that's how we talked about area. What we're looking at here below are one centimeter by one centimeter blocks. And we can add up this perimeter, and you can pause the, the video and then actually bunny hop the perimeter and count it. What do you get? Yeah, you go all the way around and add all those up. The perimeter is going to be 26 centimeters because each block is one centimeter long per side. Now, when you look at the area, the area is the amount of area that it covers. Now we're talking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you're counting up all these blocks, right? So this, this is the perimeter. and the area, there are 21 blocks. Each block is a centimeter squared. So the area then is 21 centimeters squared because... It can be covered by 21 one centimeter by one centimeter blocks with no overlaps or gaps. Right? So that, that is what you're looking at when we look at area and perimeter, one dimension versus two dimensions. You're about to do the next activity, which is asking you to, on a grid, form as many parallelograms or rectangles, sorry, that have a perimeter of 20 units and then find the area. So you are looking for perimeter is going to equal 20 units, where each particular square is a unit by a unit. And describe a strategy for how you find all of these. So go ahead and get started on that. You're gonna find it on page 15 in your packet. Uh, draw at least five rectangles, and after you draw those, write the dimensions down. Go to page 16, and where it says shape, you're going to write the dimensions down, and then after you write the dimensions above that, write the area. Go ahead and do that.